Hey y'all, good uh, day, good afternoon, good morning, whenever you're watching this. This month is National Suicide Prevention Month. And in honor of it, I want to make a video about my suicide experience. I had major depression from like mid-teens to early 20s. Uh, and I'm 23. Most people don't know that about me because I smile so freaking much. I, people are literally like, Charlie, can you frown? And I'm like, yes, I can frown. I cry a lot. You just don't see it. <laughs> just, yeah, I love to cry. In 2011, I was, I was very suicidal. Uh, I had just come out and not in a great way. It was not a, it was not a good coming out. It was actually kind of traumatizing and that's, that's a whole other story for another day. The guy I had kind of come out with that um, I was, I was with, I was leaving for college and I was also going off to college and by college I mean I was an 11th grader going off to college and so I was leaving my friends. I felt deeply, deeply alone. I absolutely hated myself. I remember it very vividly telling my family how much I wanted to die. I felt like the best parts of myself were gone and I was just kind of left with this weight. I didn't even enjoy video games, which was huge. I loved video games. I didn't feel like I was a value to anyone else's life. I had major social anxiety. I really, really wanted to die. I remember looking at kitchen knives and thinking like, oh, you just like take a kitchen knife and just like slit your wrist, Charlie. Like that's how you do it. You just like, just kill yourself. I even looked up things online. It was something that was really, really heavy, heavy with me. But if I could go back in time and talk to myself and be like, Charlie, like, I know you don't see it like right now, but like, you're really cool. I know you want to die, but Charlie, there's a whole life for you out there. And it, it's really awesome. And like, if you kill yourself now, you're not going to be able to experience it with all the people that love you. All the rotten thoughts I had about myself, you gotta just wipe them away with a miracle wipe, just but instead, I had to take years of therapy to, <laughs> to fix that. I can see the ways in which I've changed, but like during it, no, hell no. I thought nothing was ever gonna change. I thought I was gonna be stuck in that sh 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 land for all eternity. And I'm not gonna tell you it gets better because I hate that campaign. I, I remember learning about it when I was coming out and like seeing people say, oh, it gets better. And I was like, what? I have to wait till I'm like in college or like after to feel good about myself. Instead, I just want to offer my absolute understanding and love and support and I want to tell you you're seen and you're heard. I appreciate every day that you keep on going when you want to give up. If I could make you feel better in an instant, I totally would. And I would be like, Psst, you're really cool. You just don't know you're cool yet. And I hate to spoil the ending, but it works out really well. Your mind? Your hands, your your toes, your feet, your body. This is yours, and there's there's no one ever ever gonna have that. Like that's uniquely you, and that's awesome. And I can't wait for the day that you're gonna just move through the world happy to be in your skin. And you're not gonna just be happy all the time. Like life's always gonna have ups and downs, but it's gonna be really cool. And you're gonna be like, wow, this is a really cool feeling. And I'm gonna be like, I know. <laughs> I told ya. <laughs> no, I don't want to do that. A few things. One, stay connected. Even when you want to like go hide in your room and not talk to anyone, friends, family have a support system ready. Talk to people. I remember how much I just wanted to like spend time in my room and disappear. And so uh, when you don't want to do it, do it anyway. Number two, therapy d works wonders. <laughs> if you have insurance, use it. Uh, and if you can't find therapy and where you're at, uh, there's so many online groups. We've never lived in a time where there's this many options to uh, find support. And if you feel like ashamed or embarrassed or afraid, that is totally understandable. And I'm not gonna tell you to feel differently at all. What I am gonna tell you to do is that even when you feel ashamed, embarrassed, afraid, do it anyway, just go with it. Number three, never let a milestone go uncelebrated. There were days where like my big thing was like getting out of bed. I, I've gotten to a point in my life when I have these huge goals that I wanna meet. I feel like I'm like, you know, at step one of one and I'm still gonna celebrate where I'm at. So if your thing that day is that you got out of bed, good job, I am proud of you. Video is over. I love you so much. Thanks for watching, subscribe, and I will see you next week. If you're ever in crisis and need to talk to someone or the National Suicide Hotline is right here. My name is Charlie. Thank you for watching my channel. And I will see you at my next video. <laughs> Bye.